it's starting to rain and you know what that means free water so i've got this rainwater collection system on my gutter and i got a vinyl tube that goes all the way to my basement to my giant barrel that distributes it everywhere come on this is grand central station for all of my rain barrel engineering the water comes in through the super long hose that was in the gutter it empties into here and then from here it routes all over the place and i'm going to show you where it goes but depending on what valves i turn and what pumps i turn on it directs the water different places so i have irrigation tubing running to my plants and those are on a timer so it waters my plants every three days i think for 15 minutes at a time so there's another hose that runs out my basement along my fence and into this barrel to water my chickens and when this barrel overflows it just goes into the neighbor's yard so another hose comes out my basement and comes this way to the front yard and it waters my hydrangeas that are here with an underground soaker hose i'm thinking about adding some tubing up here so that i can water the ferns that always die too and then there's another tube running from the basement up here to my 50 gallon aquarium so i can water add water to my aquarium from my rain barrel which i realize is probably not a good idea because it's not the best water for fish so my next project for this system is to use the solenoid and this float switch. I'm going to power it with solar power that's already ran here because right now, if this overflows, it goes through the road, which is fine, but I would rather it not risk getting clogged and flooding my basement. So I'm going to use this float switch and it will turn this on and off when the barrel gets full or not.